sweating up a storm. Oh my goodness. I had TikTok dance in this outfit. I did a whole get ready with me in this outfit. It's freaking hot outside. I literally went outside like screaming at the top of my lungs trying to sing the wait for me reprise. <laughs> Okay. I'm coming away for me. I hear the one. <laughs> Anyways, I'll save you that on TikTok. It was like a wait for me challenge people like did a while ago and then they brought it back for quarantine or whatever. <sighs> it's hot. It was hot and people like were coming up and looking. I thought this was good because I was on the roof and shit, but all right, we got Korean fried cheese corn dogs today. I'm very excited about. I this is literally the only reason I came here is to do that wait for me challenge, which is like I'm coming wait for me. I hear the walls repeating the falling of our feet, and it sounds like you're a man, and we are not alone. I hear the rocks and stones echoing our song. I'm coming. Mm. Mmm, mm, boy, oh boy, you're worth it. I got a whole ass box. I have a friend coming to hang out with me tonight. And he wants to try them. Some of that girl shit. But, oh. Mm. No, I'm not even hungry right now. Like, you try it. Mm. This flower just doesn't work anywhere. <laughs> it's supposed to be a clip, but, you know, it's not. This is my prop I used outside. Mmm. I think it's so good. Every time without fail I come to this place, I always see someone who's seen my videos. It's so cool. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. One time me and Jeff Cray just came here just for fun together. Just to eat Korean fried cheese. I always think of him because he lives in this area. And so I was like, I should go home, but I don't think he wants to talk to me. Mmm. <sighs> Honestly, I don't blame anyone for not wanting to talk to me. I'm a mess. In a dress, can you see? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. According to you. According to you, but according to him, I'm beautiful and incredible. He can get me out of his head. Thank you, Taylor Swift and TikTok, for making me feel and believe that one day somebody will love me. Mm. <laughs> oh, by Orpheus Lazier do you see? I'm cosplaying today as a character from Hades Town. Your DC. It's a Greek. It's based on Greek mythology, but I think it's set in a post-apocalyptic world. Correct me if I'm wrong. But they have Hades for Persephone. The Fates. Oh. Mm. The guy who plays Hades and Hades. I haven't seen it. This was another one of those musicals that I got into during quarantine. I'm like, I really, I don't even know what it's about. Really, I, I don't. Uh, uh, uh. I actually know exactly what it's about. I just haven't seen it. It's very odd that I get obsessed with things unless I've seen them. So I just watch clips and stuff online. Mmm. Ripping apart these cheese dogs. Oh my god, they're so good. I have a collab coming up next week though, so I have to like start dieting tomorrow. Mm. It's always like my splurge. <laughs> like right after I did a really good diet, and then also my splurge like right before I now have to go on a big one. They're so good. They like little potatoes on there. doesn't relate to anything I'm talking about right now, but I started watching The Lovely Bones for the first time ever. I remember seeing it advertised and being like, that looks weird. 
the era that it was set in, the way it was filmed, like the overall story, I couldn't really understand it through the trailer. I'm like, that looks weird. <clears throat> and so I was like, no. And anything with like little kids, I thought she was like a creepy little kid in the thing. I guess I can do a spoiler alert because it's been out for a while. But it's not, um, she's not like a creepy, she's not a creepy kid, she like dies, she gets murdered. Anyways, it was so bizarre and so weird and so creepy. It's like so creepy. I found this water bottle from the Broadway show in like a tub that my mom was cleaning out and I kept it. Well, obviously I filled it up with fresh water, but I was very excited to find it. But yeah, I don't like things that are like real like that. Is it based, on, it's, I don't think it's based on a true story, right? But the thing is, it does happen to see cars like that always coming by. And no one really parks up on the roof. I'm always so confused when people are like parked up on this bitch. I'll leave the potato one for my friend. <sighs> but anyways. Mmm. Mm. There's no more cheese in this one. Mm. They taste so very differently. Mm. They're so much better fresh. Like I wish, I wish you could taste some fresh because I'm gonna bring them home. I put them in the oven and stuff, but I just not like them fresh, you know? I like donuts, like stale donuts, ugh. But fresh ones, ugh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, lovely bones with something else. I'm the type of girl, there's two girls in the world. The ones that would think, watch that movie and be like, wow, Mark Robert's so hot. And the ones who watch that movie and be like, wow, Stanley Tucci's so hot. Like, Stanley Tucci is so hot. His character has put me off from him. But the fact that he can get in there and, like, portray those two characters, like, mm, that turns me on. Mm. Oh, my God. So there's two different guys that I talked to on Bubble. They're from Bubble. I've met them. I've hooked up with them, whatever. And I really like them both the same. They're both very, very different, but I like them both the same. They both bring different qualities sexually, also just like mentally stimulating, different, and like just physically different. Like they're just so different. But it's very rare I hit. It's very rare I can't if I hit. Some, I can't find someone to hit up. You know what I mean? If I want to hook up or have company or whatever. And neither one of them returned my calls last night or text. Not until this morning. Well, last night, no one did. Then I texted early, like 8 o'clock. I was like, what the hell? And not to keep my own horn, but they're both pretty persistent. And I was kind of pushing it off for a while because I, like, felt fat. <laughs> what else is new? Mm. And then even, like, I play it cool. Like, when they want to hang out, I'm like, mmm. I don't always say yes, and sometimes because I'm busy, sometimes it's because I want to fast, sometimes it's because I want to be fat, so fast and fat, two different things. And I, I texted both of them last night, and neither one of them hit me back, and then I even did the double text, which I've never done. I was trying to be cool, like, they're the ones that were after me. I'm like, what the heck happened? I seriously had such low self-esteem because of it. Because I actually did really good with my eating yesterday. I have dinner, well, until I had dinner. <laughs> So, I was, like, thinking I was going to hook up. So, I was, like, yeah, I eat something at lunch or whatever. But I was, like, I'm going to eat. It was, like, 10, 30, 11. And I'm, like, wow, no one's really going to text me back. Oh, this is crazy. This is so weird because it's just not like that. So, then I really got really down on myself and just made a big-ass bowl of spaghetti and sauce. <laughs> I started eating at midnight, which makes me feel extra fat today. But I am getting my period, so... There's that. Mm. This is so bizarre. Oh, well. I'm going to be like, wow, Trisha, you're such an idiot. You're so narcissistic because you always think about yourself. And that's true. But let me tell you why you shouldn't always think that it's all you. Because I really thought, like, because they both had subscribed to my OnlyFans, which was so nice. I was like, yeah, subscribe. I guess I'm going to send you the shit, but whatever. I'm not insecure about it, but when guys I know in real life, I mean, they see my body, right? So, they know what I look like, but my head starts being like, okay, they subscribe. They probably don't like what they see. Maybe they think I'm trashy. Maybe maybe they don't like the way my body looks in, like, broad-ass daylight. I don't know. 
or the way I talk on there. I don't know what it was, but that's why I started thinking and I started, you know, I started thinking, what is, it's me, what did I do? Oh my God, they think I'm ugly, they think I'm fat. Well, the one hasn't hit me back in the, and again, I'm thinking selfishly on this, even though I'm telling you not to. I'm thinking like, we have a mutual friend that I think I might've said some shit about this guy. Like so random because I never thought I'd meet this person ever and then we meet and then he seems kind of cool. And so, like, maybe he told him, maybe they found out, maybe he, like, I don't know. Because we're still relatively new, like, what, a week or two into it. So, I was like, mm. And then the other guy, who's actually younger and more attractive and more, like, mm, you know, in the bedroom. Mm. I really thought for sure, um, he didn't quit two times. Um, I had to quit two times, three times. I'm a wife, or maybe he's going to wife me. No. So I was like, wow, this is so weird. Like, th and this guy specifically was so into me. And my Bumble profile, like, I think I said this in a video, but my Bumble profile literally says thick ass, thick ass bitch. If you like skinny girls, like, I'm not it. Like, just I'm letting them know. I show my bikini. I don't, I don't face too, whatever. Well, I'm a thick ass bitch. I tell people that just so they know, whatever. Sorry if that makes anyone cringe. And he was like all about it. He's like, oh my god, you're like the perfect body type, like all this stuff. And I'm like, what the hell happened? And it just became weird or whatever. Because he texts back right away all the time. They're both fathers, mind you. I just said I would never date someone with kids again. Technically, we're not dating. We're really just hooking up. But it's quarantine, so we're kind of dating. Because we order food and hang out. So I'm kind of a date. A date in 2020. Um, I really thought, oh my god, like he really just doesn't like me. Whatever, something weird happened. And I felt really bad. What time is it now? It's like, it's like two o'clock now. It was like, it was like noon when I got the te text from him. He's like, hi, how are you? And I didn't respond because I didn't want to be like thirsty. I was just like, you know what? They didn't answer my booty call, whatever. But then he told me that his son had this crazy allergic reaction to bees and like almost died. And like my heart, like one just sank like so bad. Like I was like, holy shit. Like I couldn't even imagine that trauma with my family, like my mom and sister, but I know children are just such a different love. Children are such a different protection. Like I, I don't, I, like I said, I'm not a parent, but I just, I can only imagine like a tenth I can imagine of like what, pe what parents do. You know, you see parents like literally protect their child at all costs right you know and so like to see something like that so helpless and like a, a child like that like broke my fucking heart and then of course i'm like oh my god i'm such a selfish asshole like why the fuck was i making this about me like this is so dumb um and he, he like didn't even have to tell me all that because like we're just hooking up and stuff like that you know what i mean so like the fact that he told me that and i was like oh like and he we talked about like so weird i know this is so weird because we talk about like hooking up but like we talk about god and stuff and i was like god you know really like watch us out like he's real and i'm so happy and i'm glad he's okay and I had to like rush him to the hospital. I guess he didn't know that he's allergic to bees or something. I don't know. It was crazy, but damn stuff with children just make me so sad. Like childhood cancer. Chris Angel's son too. He had cancer. I think he, he's he got it. I think it came back. I don't know if he's cancer free now or what, but it's it's so sad. It's so heartbreaking. Like why? That's. I believe in God and I'm like strong in faith and stuff, but like, why does God do that to like kids, you know, like give them cancer? I mean, that's what I'm saying. There has to be more like suffering here has to give you more on the afterlife or something. I don't know. Like, I guess it's not really like, why did God do that? It's like, why can't he cure them? Why won't he just keep the cancer away from kids? Like, you know, cancer is such a bitch. I heard, I heard they have care for cancers, but the government is greedy and doesn't want to share them with people that don't have the millions of dollars to get the cure. And that's how they keep, like, hospitals open and medicines and health insurance running it's so sad i hope that's not true but cancer is not fun even seeing my mom just go through it i'm not really sure what stage my mom got there's stickiness here i think i should do that with her just get here i'll do this with water watching my mom go through it she had to get a mastectomy 
I think she's had one boob taken off. But she was in so much pain coming out. I mean, she went through three surgeries, I think, total. And she was in so much pain. It was awful. But, oh, cancer's, cancer's horrible. I think it's, oh, God. Oh, I got all bummed out. That's why, I mean, literally, like, that's why... And Nick Cordero, he was a Broadway actor. He recently died from complications from COVID. And it's like, and he has a song called Live to the Fullest or Live Life to the Fullest. And the lyrics are so beautiful. And he had like an interview talking about how he lived his life to the fullest. You know, tomorrow's promise to no one. And I truly believe that. I think that's why I just say like, I mean, yeah, I want to go on diets and stuff because I want to live a long time. So obviously like I like to look good and like whatever. But eat the Korean fried cheese sticks. Buy the fucking Rolls Royce, you know? Like, I mean, granted, take care of your responsibilities. You have kids and bills and stuff, but... <laughs> life is so short like I just want to have fun and spend money and like it sucks because 2020 is just we're stuck in the house there's nothing to look forward to but I don't know even that live it up you know yeah there's two guys that I'm like loving right now the attention from you know so what sue me don't actually sue me because suing is very expensive <laughs> um but I love you guys I did a whole like get ready with me on TikTok. It was like a 60 second like start to finish every single makeup step. And then I also did it on my second channel. So if you want to go check that out. Um, new content daily over on onlytrish.com. I'm doing a collab next week with Lena the Plug. So definitely check that out. And yeah, I love you guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Wait for me. I'm coming. Okay. Just to set the record straight. I sat in that parking lot for a good like hour posting TikToks, Instagrams, all that, making phone calls that I worked up an appetite to go get some KFC skins. I don't even eat the chicken. I just was like, there's KFC right next to it. And I was like, let me just get some of this KFC real quick. I have to go run errands. I have to go to the post office and stuff. So uh, yeah, I just got some original recipe to get breast and I just pulled over to eat it. So I thought, why not just share it with you guys? Mm. I was a girl in the village doing all right, and I became a princess overnight. Now I gotta do out part of it, right? <laughs> also, in my, I think it was my, the one where I got the drinks from, from Del Taco. I said that I was parking in someone's driveway. I wasn't parking in their driveway, but I was like parallel parked. So like, if someone wanted to get out, they couldn't get out. Or if they wanted to get in, they wouldn't be able to get in. Which is kind of like an asshole thing to do regardless. But I wasn't like parked in the driveway. I didn't like pull on up to the house and say, here I am. Parking right in your driveway. I was more like there was no street parking. So I was like, I'm not going to be here for like a minute. 15 minutes. And didn't look at anyone at home. So I was just like, you know. I'm middle of a weekday. I just assume people are working, but... Anyway, it's so annoying. And this one's blocking my driveway. I'll be pissed. Especially if they're doing a mukbang video. I don't know why this sounded so good. I saw it right there and I was like, oh, let me just stop it. I have a snack. I think people can think they're gonna see someone classy. That's just some bitch eating the skins off the KFC fried chicken. Oh. I don't know why those skins are so satisfying. I know someone told me in Singapore like they sell it with just the skin, but I think it would lose the magic because it's like the grease on the chicken, peeling it. Licking your fingers is the best part. Mmm. I get grease all over my steering wheel. Mmm. <laughs> Cheers again. I don't know why I did it like that. Just show my fat arm more. I'm trying to be skinnier. <laughs> Sorry, I'm so thirsty. I've literally been gone for like four hours and I just got Korean fried cheese and chicken skins. <laughs> I mean, I did my post on social media, but.
Now I need to go, I was gonna masturbate my rolls too for only if I have to buy dinner toy with me. Just rub chicken grease in me. Okay, now I'm gonna run errands and now I've concluded eating for the day. I'm a mess, y'all. I'm a mess in a dress. All right, that's annoying. <laughs> Bye, guys.